Hey everyone and welcome back to NDC. I just want to do a quick video today on how you can actually customize your Mac a little bit further by customizing some app icons for non-system applications. So any applications that aren't developed and maintained by Apple, so anything from the App Store or that you've downloaded from the internet, as well as customizing your folders. It's something that's really simple, but you know, I always love being able to customize devices and how they're used. But let's first start off with folders and I'm just going to create a new folder here. Call it new folder and when you're customizing a folder you can right click on it and you'll notice the customize folder it's got some options like you, know, you can add some sf symbols animals and natures and even choose the color or use an emoji but if we really want to customize it to the fullest extent we can actually use pngs jpegs or icon files as you can see on my desktop i have some transparent pngs i'm a pretty visual person so i've actually really been enjoying this so if you want to change the icon of your folders to one of those pictures, you can right click on the folder, press get info, you get this new pop up that appears. And what you need to do is you need to click on the folder in the very top left, you can see it's kind of highlighted here. And you can either copy and paste a PNG, I just have one I just added on my desktop of a cat working on a Mac. Let's go ahead and drag and drop over, you'll notice that it actually changed like a little plus sign. And now when we close it, we can see that our new folder still behaves and functions like a, a normal folder as this new PNG. It does support anything that's transparent as well. So if you really want to get uh, crazy with the design, feel free to do so. If we look at it in Finder, we can see our new folder here. So it's very visual, something that's really quick to do. It's fun to add a little bit of flair to your Mac for sure. As you can see on my taskbar, I have things like Spotify using a custom icon. You can even rename these apps if you'd like. First, you need to access where your apps are. You can either do the apps down here, which used to be called Launchpad, I think, or in Finder, you can go to your applications. Now, keep in mind, this will only work for non-Apple official applications. Those ones are really locked down. I'm on Tahoe 26.1, I believe, and I'm not able to customize those. So let's take a look at Discord per se. This is something I've downloaded from the internet. You'll once again want to right click and go to the Get Info. We get that pop up again and from here we're going to do the exact same method as the folders you're going to take the png or jpeg or icon file and drop it over the other icon so now our discord is using this little kitty icon something that i would recommend doing is closing out the app so i'm going to completely quit out of discord here and you can also rename it if you want as long as you keep the dot app extension so if i were to call this uh cat cord i don't know hit enter it'll go ahead and refresh we can now close this now we can go to our spotlight search there we go we can go ahead and open it now opened on our taskbar and we can see it's opening up discord you may just need to replace the um item in the dock but it move this one over and now i can open and close this so we can go ahead and quit it's just going to behave exactly like Discord. Now it has that custom name, that custom icon. If you ever want to go back, maybe you're like, oh, I want to go back to the original icon, whatever. You just go to get info once again. You'll want to select the custom icon and press the delete key. And it's going to return it. Let's make this back to Discord. If you are renaming or changing the icon, I would typically have the application completely closed at a time. Now we can open up our Discord as normal. It might still have the custom icon until it fully loads. And you can see in the bottom, we have our Discord icon back once again. But what about those built-in applications like Mail, Preview, Keynote, Safari? Anything that's really supported by Apple. If we were to try to go to the Get Info, let's say I want to change my Mail icon. Now we're to drag it over. You'll notice nothing changes. We get the little plus sign, but nothing changes. And the name and extensions actually grayed out. Apple, with every single update, has kind of tightened these applications. And unfortunately, the only way to have a custom icon is kind of scuffed. You would essentially create a script and bundle it as an application, which would essentially just open that application. So you're kind of almost creating like a custom shortcut in a way. But when you do that, you lose functionality. Like if you want to right click on Safari and have all the windows, that new window, new private window, you would lose all that functionality. So unfortunately for those system apps, we're not able to replace the icons. So if you want a full overhaul of the theme, you're still a little bit stuck with those Apple ones. Just a really quick video in case you wanted to add a little bit more fun and flair. Like I said, my Spotify kind of has this like Apple music looking 
uh, icon, which I really like. So if you really want to add some fun and flair to your Mac, this is a pretty simple way to do so. You can either create the PNGs yourself or find them on the internet. There's tons of free uh, SVG or even vector uh, websites out there. So yeah, you can stylize your Mac however you want. Otherwise, dream big, code bigger, and we'll see you in the next one.